he heading over to a new piece of property we've been hunting this year. Uh, this morning, Shane and I was sitting on a set that we hung earlier in the year. And last year it really produced good, but it's just not doing anything this year. So I think it's because the acorns are falling and the deer are staying in the bigger wood and not coming out on the bean fields. But uh, I got a good feeling about this set we hung just a few days ago. We actually hunted it then last Sunday, the first weekend of bow season, seen 10 or 11 deer that evening, let it go all week, and here it is Saturday again, so we're just going to head out here and get ready to set up in it. And i got a real good feeling. I know the wind's perfect for it. Uh, highs in the mid to upper 60s today. Lows in the 40s. It's been great weather this weekend for early bow season. Probably one of the best weekends that we'll have this year as far as October hunting. Or early October hunting. But, uh... The only we're going to do is head out here and just give it a shot and see what happens. I've been getting some great footage of bucks on trail cameras and good bucks on trail cameras. And, uh... There's one out there we call him Tripod. He's a triple beam deer. I think he's gonna end up being a shooter. But uh, we're definitely gonna go out here and just give it a shot and see what happens. So I guess we'll see you in the stand. Here at 6 a.m. Back home was Friday night. My friends are cracking their first beers, giving some girl a light. Sitting on the flat line. Let us say see you soon But right now I might as well be On the dark side of the moon Back home it's Friday night but It's been a month of Sundays Since I've had a decent shower Some days we're just hanging on Minute to minute, hour by hour I'm sitting on the flight line Staring at the sun Thinking about us And what I could've done Back home it's Friday night Back in the world Back in the world Where my heart calls home Back in the world second weekend of bow season it's actually youth shotgun season this weekend as well so we got to wear hunter orange while we're bow hunting but uh this morning Shane and I we went over to a set we had hung earlier in the month to get ready for bow season here and we're just not having any luck over there so we decided to slip back over here and we're actually sitting in a nice funnel on this bean field that connects down to the creek and then into one of our other bean fields. So we sit here, last be last Sunday night. We had 10 or 11 deer we seen throughout the night. So the deer movement's good here. It seems like the bucks are cruising by the cameras still during daylight hours. We had one just a couple days ago. It said seven in the morning. So it's about 3:30, four o'clock in the afternoon right now, and we're. Uh, Wanted to get here a little early and just kind of get the woods settled down. So, just gonna sit tight and see what happens. And hopefully, that big boy will cruise on by, or maybe a nice doe that don't have any fawns with her. So, stick with us and we'll see what happens.
Well, we finally got it done tonight. Uh, like I said, I, I can't thank the Lord enough tonight for this because I've been in such a dry spell. And Shane and I, we've been hunting for 20 something years and for us together and for us to be able to finally succeed at putting a mature buck on the ground means the world to me. Uh, we didn't have enough camera light after the shot to do an interview in the stand. and So we ended up getting down and he didn't go anywhere. I did put a little bit of a high shot on him, but you know, he can't ever control what happens when it's hunting. Uh, all I know is we got him down. These deer come out at 10 minutes before dark. They, uh, we kept hearing horns rattling and we kept saying, you know, I think they're far and there's some bucks far, but we couldn't ever see it. And, yeah, like I just said, about 10 minutes before dark, here he steps out 17 yards broadside. Of, I didn't really know what to do to have my bow ready or nothing. And end up, we're fortunate enough to put him on the ground and get a, go put him in the freezer. So definitely very emotional night for me. I mean, I've shot bucks that are at bigger, but this one just means a lot. I don't, it's hard to explain, so. Definitely gonna get him home and get him out of here and put him in the freezer and uh, we're gonna try to hunt this stand in the morning too and see if we can't get Shane something. So definitely really good night so far. So till next time we'll see you around. Rolling down the backwoods, Tennessee by the Sitting on a limb, chubby old groundhog, 